Hey everybody, it's Louie Hartley with Wood Unlimited. Uh, I got a short video today just to show the um, the impact of uh, air assist versus non-air assist when you're trying to cut using a SpO2 laser. I run a 80 watt Omtech and I use Lightburn software. And I know when I first bought the laser, one of the things that crossed my mind is, is the aquarium pump good enough? Is it not good enough? Do I need air assist? You know, it's, it's a bit confusing and overwhelming when you first get a laser. Um, so hopefully this, this video will cut through the muck. Uh, additionally, you know, to add air assist, to add a compressor, uh, and you know, to, to to hook everything up. I mean, you're looking at at an upfront initial investment, so it can raise the cost of your upfront investment when you are looking to get into laser engraving and cutting. So, uh, looking at the cost benefit, you know, reward, that's something you know really good to evaluate. So, let's jump right in. All right. So what we've done here is I just made two simple circles, uh, one red, one purple. One is going to be with air assist, and the other without. So uh, both the settings are identical, six millimeters per second, 25% power, but you can see I enabled air assist on one and disabled on the other, and I labeled them accordingly. All right, so jumping over to the uh, actual laser itself, jump in here, just, uh, doing just a basic uh, engrave just so we can identify uh, which circle is which. Uh, there we go, engraving without, and with and then we're going to put the two circles again again the only difference uh, the speed and the power settings are identical the only difference is one has air assist and the other doesn't so this circle here that's being created this is with air assist enabled and this is running about 30 psi uh, this is all wired into the control board so it comes on and off uh, with the software okay so automatically you can see a big difference in the amount of smoke you can actually see the amount of difference uh, with the flame um, and the, just the clean, cleanliness of the cut, uh, you can see a huge difference. So then zoom in a little closer, you can see we've got a wide line, we've got a narrow line. One actually cut all the way through, and the other only cut maybe halfway, possibly three quarters. All right, I guess that video probably made it pretty clear, uh, pretty clear case for the air assist. Um, I did initially run with a, a little stock air pump that I had on it. I ended up upgrading to one of those very small uh, compressors. And in the end, I ended up going with one of the quiet compressors. It's a California Air. Got it off of uh, Amazon, run it at 30 PSI, and actually tied it into the control board. That that does a few things. You can, um, when you actually engrave, if you don't want to use air, air assist, you can make it. You can make the settings turn the air assist off. If you want to use the air assist, you can. You know, put the little switch in light burn, and you can you can run the air assist when you need to. Um, so that's a big benefit as far as efficiency. Uh, you don't just have an air compressor running all the time. Um, you can turn the um, the air pressure up and down depending on what you're doing and how much that you actually need. Uh, I, I wouldn't, if I had it to do again, I actually ran without an air assist for a very long time. If I had to do it again, I would have bought it from day one and had it installed. Uh, just made a made a huge difference in the quality of the cut and the quality of the experience with the laser. If you found this video helpful, uh, please hit that like and subscribe button below. I'm also going to post links to all the uh, materials and parts that it takes to actually add an air assist um, to your laser. There will be future videos with tutorials on how to do the installation. So there will be more videos in the series, but uh, uh, thank you for watching.